Hey there folks, I know it's been a crazy long time since I last uploaded a video in a battle no less, but I make no apologies. Unfortunately, there are things in the world that are more important than Pokemon, and I have been slammed by them for the last few months. So I'm back now, for, and I'm going to be uploading a few new battles. I'm not sure how many, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to be back for. Uh, I'm going to have to take a break again for another few weeks uh, in about a week. And after that, you're not going to hear anything from me for a few weeks. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to be coming back after that. Uh, it's all very up in the air. But for now, just appreciate what you've got. And what you've got right now is a Ranbats for Wi-Fi battle. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Ranbats is, Ranbats is uh, the Pokemon Showdown version of Challenge Cup. Although Pokemon Showdown also supports Challenge Cup. Uh, instead of choosing random sets for the Pokemon, uh, it chooses sets that are that the AI that um, Zarel, the creator of Pokemon Showdown, wrote. Um, it's sets that the AI chose uh, that are supposed to be fairly good, fairly viable. So it's a little bit more, I guess, competitive and less, a little bit less random weirdness than Challenge Cup. Anyway, my opponent is LeBron Dwayne 63. We had this battle back in February, back when I thought I'd have time to upload it. Um, my first Pokemon is a Litwick. His first is a Lunatone. Um, I was thinking with my increased level that I would be faster or and uh, that I'd be able to take him out with a Shadow Ball. But as you're about to see, he actually takes that hit and I'm going to want to switch out because he's amazingly faster. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, my, uh, my Litwick out. And yeah, you'll notice that he nicknamed his Pokemon. He also did a few other modifications. Um, that it's it's okay. He didn't do anything that big of a deal. You also notice that all my Pokemon are shiny. That's due to a bug in Sim to PKM. If you don't know what Sim to PKM is, it's how uh, Ranbats for Wi-Fi is possible. And you should check out the link in um, the description, or a, I'm sure I'll have a link in the uh, annotations as well. Anyway, um, so Thunderous takes out. Or I think I took him out. I'm not sure. Yeah, I took him out. So I mean, I'm going to switch out into um, my Venomoth. Yes, Venomoth here, and see, he screwed up his happiness, um, he screwed up his happiness here, and so that's why, uh, Rudolph did no damage to my Venomoth, he should have been a little bit more careful with the editing, but anyway, so now he switches out into, uh, Scissor to take the somehow predicted Sludge Bomb, um, but yeah, a really good switch, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be predicted, but anyway, I, I am running Tinted Lens, so I'm thinking, get off a, a, um, Quiver Dance, and I should be able to actually do a massive amount of damage to it, even though it resists uh, a Bug Buzz. So he's going to hit me again with those bullet punches. I really should have probably switched out, but you know what, my hindsight and all that. So I go ahead and go for the Bug Buzz. I'm thinking with Scissor's mediocre special defense, I should be able to take it out. He survives, even though he does get the special defense drop, so that really sucks. That really, really sucks. So I'm going to go ahead and switch Venomoth out here. Maybe I should have just left it in for fodder. But the thing about Thunderous, as I switch it in, is that it will actually resist the bullet punch. So he's going to hit me with the bullet punch, um, and doesn't do jack. And he's got, he's got the life orb, uh, and he should die next turn. So, well, he's going to die next turn one or the other. I really wish that Thunderous had some sort of recovery, but this set does not. Um, oh, so by the way, uh, you can actually, if you ever curious like what the probability is that you'll get a certain Pokemon with a certain set in Ranbats on Pokemon Showdown or in Ranbats for Wi-Fi, I actually have a document up now that I'll link to in the description that you can actually pull that information up. It's moveset statistics for Ranbats, and it actually provides some really interesting information. It also provides really interesting information about um, checks and counters in Ranbats, which you know I really thought I, I figured you know I'd need at least a million battles in order to get good statistics there. Well, guess what? Uh, last month, Ranbats had 1.3 million paddles, so more than enough data to get some really interesting statistics. Anyway, I've got a little mini sweep going with my Thunderous. I'm um, going to take out, uh, I already took out uh, one Pokemon, now I'm going to hit his Togepi. And Togepi is level 95, and it's a fairly bulky Pokemon, and it does survive the hit, and, but I'm thinking I can hopefully survive this Fire Blast? I do not. Um, no. So, bye bye Thunderous, your mini sweep is over. It actually did a really good job, and I, and I figured the, ba the match was basically in the bag here. Um, I go out into Nose Pass, I figure should be able to wall this, um, this guy pretty well. I actually go ahead and set up rocks here. I'm not sure, it feels like I predicted the protect, but of course I couldn't have. Um, so, he protected, I get my rocks up. I guess I was figuring he might switch out. Now I'm just going to go for the Stab Stone Edge, I outspeed, uh, take out his Togepi, and that is a dead Pokemon. Uh, now he's going to go out into his, um, whatchamacallit, what is that thing? Uh, Saucebug. 
And he goes for a swords dance, and I go for the thunder wave, thinking I can just cripple this thing. I don't know that I can take it out, especially if it's running uh, certain moves, not Horn Leech. Is it Horn Leech with the grass type one? Um, anyway, I just go ahead and paralyze it, thinking, you know, it's, it'll be easier to take care of when it's paralyzed if he manages to take out my nose pass. He goes for the jump kick here, and that's going to do a massive amount of damage to my nose pass. I survive on 19 because nose pass does have a lot of defense, and I'm at a much higher level than him, and it's not like uh, we're running it. So the deal is in um, Rand Bats, everyone has 85 EVs and H stat. Now, here, here I was thinking he would go for another um, jump kick, and instead he goes for baton pass. And so here's where the battle's really going to turn around as he goes out into his Bofalant, which has the Swords Dance boosted attack, so he's at plus two, and I'm like, oh, this is not good. He carries the Earthquake and is going to manage to take out my Litwick. That sucks. I was really hoping he'd go for the jump kick, but he didn't. Um, I mean, not with the Bofalant uh, on the last turn, and that would have just, that would have changed the battle a lot. So now I go out into Poliwhirl thinking could probably take a... maybe I can take a hit? I'm not sure. I go for the return thing, it would do a decent amount of damage. It does nothing! Holy crap! Uh, and his head charge, uh, with its amazing base power, and the fact that he's at plus two, is easily going to take me out. And now he's got a little sweep going on with his Bufalant. So, yeah. No, this, this this battle just completely turned around. I go out and Dunsparce, uh, an extremely hatsy Pokemon. People call it the uh, Jirachi of... what is it? Enyu? Uh, he managed to take me out, unfortunately, because he is at plus two, uh, and he's losing a lot of health uh, thanks to recoil, but it's it's not going to be fast enough. So my only real hope is that he's going to miss an attack. Um, go ahead into Venomoth here. I actually outspeed, go for the Sludge Bomb, hoping it'll take him out, but it does not. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake, uh, and it's going to take out Venomoth, uh, because uh, Venomoth resisted or anything, or is actually a flying type. Uh, Venomoth kind of a really worthless Pokemon. Anyway, Nose Pass is now my last Pokemon, and my only hope of winning this battle is if he somehow misses. And he goes for a Megahorn. Um, not sure why he would go for Megahorn. Gets a crit, not that the crit mattered. And that is the end of the battle, so, uh, what does that end up being? I mean, that battle just completely turned around on me. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. I do will have another battle up tomorrow. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.